how to use Shopify for real estate listings. So hello everyone, so in today's video, I'll show you guys on how to use Shopify for real estate listings. So without further ado, let's get started. But before we start, there will be a link down in the description below, which will redirect you to a sign up page for Shopify and where you can get a three day free trial. And then after those three days, these three plans over here, the basic plan, the Shopify plan, and the advanced plan will only cost you $1 per month instead of $19, $49, and $299. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. So the big question is why should you use Shopify for real estate listings? Well, Shopify allows you to sell your real estate real estate listings online and of course manage everything in one place so it has features like checking out your analytic making discounts and of course customizing your online store just to name a few of its features so yeah the first thing that we're going to do first is to add our first real estate listing so just go to products over here and then from here what you want to do is just click on add product from here what you want to do is to just add the name of your real estate listing so as an example i'll just add modern house and then after that just input the description of your house right here like how many how many rooms does it have the size of the house and a lot more so just feel free to customize this description out next is media so in here just upload an image or video of the real estate listing so yeah for example i'll be using this image right here and then i'll just go back to shopify and then just upload it and then while it's uploading you can also upload more images right here just by clicking on this. Next is categories in here. Just input the category of your product. So yeah, Shopify does this automatically when you input the name of your house, um, the description, and the image. Next is pricing. So in here, just input the price of your real estate listing. So for example, I'll just set it to 1 million. And then there you go. Next is inventory and shipping. So in here, you really don't need to um, really customize this section out since we're only selling one and we're and we're selling a house so you really don't need to track the quantity of that and of course there is no shipping option so you can't ship a house so i'll just leave this box unticked as well and after that for variance you really don't need to do anything with that unless you're selling multiple houses in one um, product right here next is search engine listing so this is what your um product will look like if you if you if someone searches it online then it's next is we have status so in here you can set the status of your real estate listing as active or draft and then next is the product type so i'll just put real estate as product type choose your vendor over here you can also add this to your collection so for me i'll just add it to my home page and tags again i'll just add real estate as a tag and then there you go so once you're done customizing your product just simply click on save right here to save your changes there you go and after that it has now been created so next i'll be adding two more um houses right here so i'll be adding this house over here and this house so again just simply click on add product again and then just redo the details on how you listed your product just a while ago and then there you go so i added two more um listings right here so i added two more houses and then after that what we're going to do now is to customize our website so to do that just go to online store over here and then from here you can either use um the default theme of shopify which is dawn or you can use these themes right here at the bottom so if you want to use these themes right here at the bottom just simply click on add right here and then after that the theme of your website will be replaced and if you want to explore more themes just click on visit theme store over here and then after that you'll be redirected here in the shopify theme store so feel free to choose what kind of theme you want to use but for me i'll just stick with the dawn theme so i'll be using this one over here click on customize and after that you'll be redirected here in the website editor so what we're going to do first is to customize our sections so sections co is, is covered around by these blue lines right here and you'll also see its name right here in the top left corner so when i click on this section over here as you can see there will be some settings that will pop up in the right side so you can add images change the color scheme and animations yeah so feel free to customize your sections out so for me i'll just select an image and then let's say i want to use um this image right here click on done and after that there you go and then what you can also do is change the text over here so for example i'll just make it real estate listings and then there you go next what we're going to do is to add sections so to add the section just go to the left side over here go to template and then just simply click on add section and then from here what you want to do is to choose what kind of section you want to add so you can add a feature product section video email sign up and a lot more so feel free to choose for me i'll just add feature product there you go and then i'll just select my product that i want to feature so for example i want to feature this one right here and then there you go and then the right side again you can also edit some other settings right here to your liking and then if you want to um customize other pages of your website just click on this one right here and then from here you can now start um, customizing your products page collections page cart and checkout page and a lot more so feel free to customize these pages out then once you're done you simply click on save to save your changes and then once you're ready to publish it online just click on publish click on publish again and then there you go and then to view your website online just simply click on these three dots right here click on preview and then after that 
you'll be redirected here to your website and then there you go so next is we have analytics so in here you'll get to see a detailed view about the analytics of your website so you get to see your total sales total orders average order value and a lot more feel free to check this section out next is we have reports so in here you'll get to see all the reports related to your website and then you can also create custom reports right here in the top right corner next is live view so in here you'll get to see a live view of your website so you get to see how many visitors you have right now total sales total sessions total orders and a lot more so feel free to check this section out next is we have discounts so in here you can create discounts for your products right here so to create a discount just click on add discount right here and then just select your discount type so you can choose amount of products buy x get y amount of order or free shipping so just feel free to choose what kind of discount type you want to use for me i'll just choose amount of order and after that you can either use a discount code or automatic discount for me i'll just choose a discount code as my method and then just input your discount code right here or you can generate a random one right here so for me i'll just generate a random one next is discount value so you can set it as percentage or fix them out for me i'll just leave it at percentage and make it five percent and after that you can also customize some settings right here for your discount like minimum purchase requirements customer eligibility maximum discount uses and combinations so feel free to customize these sections out and then lastly so you can also set active dates for your discount so you can add the start date and an end date so just input those dates here and also add the start time and the end time and after that once you're done creating your discount just click on save discount and after that your discount code has now been created and then you also get a shareable link right here at the top so that you can promote your discount code by email and social media to your customers and then after that you're pretty much done so yeah that's pretty much it on how to use shopify for real estate listings so if you found this video helpful don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more tech tips that is all